A USDA employee that has now taken over the leadership in the apple rootstock breeding program. And so he leads what's called the CG rootstock program. And he's going to lead us in discussion of rootstocks. And I'm going to ask him, he already is planning to introduce our longtime colleague, Dr. Jim Cummins. Oh, yes, of course. Um, well, first of all, by show of hands, who who are not familiar with uh, who is not familiar with uh, apple rootstocks? Good. So I don't have to tell you what they are. Uh, well, today it's a special occasion because we have uh, Dr. Jim Cummins, who is the uh, uh, the initiator of this program. Uh, what? Thirty-five years ago. Almost 40 years ago, 1968, almost 40 years ago, and, and you had the, the first student was uh, Gardner, uh, was, was, he, was he the first one that worked on fire blight? Randy, Randy Gardner. Randy Gardner. Yeah. yeah, so Randy became a tomato, a tomato breeder, and I interviewed with, with Randy uh, to uh, uh, do a PhD with him, and then I decided to go on to cucumbers, and then I came back to rootstocks this tall they get inoculated with fire blight and we take anything that's that is resistance resistant to fire blight move it on and plant it out in the field uh, like like right here and this is this is a population of, uh, of rootstocks